Hey guys, Nitsa Gamer here, and this is update two, and I'm doing this with sunglasses just because it looks cooler. So anyway, it, today is Friday, uh, September um, 7th, 2012, and while so far of school, um, we have done four days of of our classes, and I have been to all my classes at least twice, and and then this will actually give me a better idea of to actually tell you what to expect over in It's a Gamer because my main focus has to be on school over in It's a Gamer or in It's a 9-4 or anything else. However, senior year I think is going to be my easiest and most best year ever. And I seriously hope so. So, time to actually run down on the classes here. So, if you actually watched my previous update video, I told you the eight different classes that I'm taking. So, drama, film, and television, physics, communications, support block, geography, which eventually I tried to swap with foods, but I couldn't get into food, so I have a second support block, pre-calculus 12, grad transitions, and creative writing. So, just to give you a more open idea of how complicated these subjects are going to be, let me just run down on it. Okay, so my drama, film, and television class, this is probably going to be one of my favorite classes. And the interesting part is that I'm in a room full of students from the acting class. And guess how many students there are doing film? Two. There's only two. And that's pretty much just my friend Ryder and, and I. We were assigned to actually do a music video project and Rudder picked a picked the video and well I agreed with it and then it turns out that my uh, old friend who kind of was my friend enemy during 10th grade but I don't know now he's becoming more of a friend now um, he he was actually the first to dislike my very first let's play part uh, Super Mario 64 so beep him but whatever he's he's a great guy. Uh, he eventually transferred to drama film, so it's basically um, him, Ryder, and I doing the filming. So it should be actually quite interesting. Physics 11. Even though I haven't experienced too much of this, physics should be quite interesting. But I can't comment in much about it so far, because so far it's been introduction to um, the class. Communications 12, which is like an easier level to English 12. Um, communications, I think I might enjoy. In fact, um, uh, when, we, when we went to the library to actually pick out our books and stuff, well, it was kind of interesting because um, most people, including I, uh, went to actually get The Hunger Games. I've never read The Hunger Games. In fact, we do have the movie, but I've never watched the movie. So I'm thinking maybe I should read the whole book first before watching the movie because I know The Hunger Games is quite a great series. So when I when I actually got that from the library, eventually everyone who got The Hunger Games eventually had to return it back. Why? Because it turns out the whole class was eventually going to read The Hunger Games anyway. Here, let me show you. Uh, let me see. Okay, here's my school bag and yeah, here it is, The Hunger Games. So, this is what we're reading during English, during silent reading, apparently. I'm not sure if this is kind of an assignment or not, but as far as I know, this is a pretty great book. I haven't gone through the first chapter yet, but it'll be interesting. When I wake up... Wait, hold on. When I wake up, the other side of my bed is cold. My fingers stretch, uh, stretch out, seeking Prim's warmth, but finding only the rough canvas cover of the mattress. Tip of the day, never read wearing sunglasses. She must have had bad dreams and climbed in with our mother. Of course, she did. This is the day of the reaping. That was the first paragraph of The Hunger Games. So yeah, it should, it should be interesting, communications. And in communications, um, my friend Ryder and uh, my old friend Enemy, who transferred to the drama film, is also in that class. But I think he's becoming more of my friend. I won't mention his name in this video, but let's carry on. Now, geography. Geography was a class I did not elect, or even elect as an alternate. So, I asked if I could swap it out with food so I can have a cooking class, and if I couldn't get into foods, then I'll replace it with a support block to have a second support block. 
I couldn't get into foods, so it's replaced with supports, which means I have two support blocks, which is on, um, well, D and E, which means I have support block every day, and they're kind of next to each other, so it, it actually has helped me a lot, and it should be interesting. Uh, Pre-calculus 12. Pre-calculus, I love math. And the funny thing is, the teacher that I'm with, I'm actually in the exact same classroom and the exact same teacher that I actually worked with for Pre-Calculus 11. Pre-Calculus 12, we're pretty much reviewing over the Pre-Calculus 11 stuff, so uh, what are we going over? We're going over like converting between equations, graphs, domain, range, um, x-intercepts, y-intercepts, asymptotes, I hope I'm saying that name right. Um, degree and other stuff and also solving certain algebraic equations finding X of course it's kind of the complicated stuff so sometimes you have to find two different answers sometimes one and then sometimes have to find the exact value or the extraneous value it's a complicated process but if you're good at math then it shouldn't be a problem but the one problem I have with pre-calculus 12 is that the teacher my god, it's like he seems to do it on purpose or he seems to forget. He goes like so fast on the notes that I do more time catching up on notes than I do actually learning. Which is such a pain in the ass because, well, I'm the slowest writer in the class. And, well, in pre-calculus, um, my friend uh, Sean, uh, Sean was... Uh, was the care or the actor who actually played the antagonist in my Cell Wars project on Nitsa 94, which was my very first video done on webcam. He is in the exact exact same da desk, like I'm in the exact same desk, and he's being uh, my partner for most of the pre-calculus and math stuff we do, so we can, so that way we can actually back each other up if I notice he's doing something wrong, or if he notices I'm doing something wrong, or if we both get like different answers, then then yeah I mean I remember one time I was getting like negative 13 and and then Sean was like you shouldn't be getting that you should be getting three so eventually we try to figure out why and then it turns out I was minus an eight rather than plus an eight in an algebraic equation so yeah it helps to actually have a partner in math um, grad transitions um, which is my seventh class grad transitions is such an interesting class because it's it seems pretty easy, but it seems kind of complicated, even though it's easy. Grad Transitions, we have nine assignments, and we have to complete these nine assignments, and then we don't have to do Grand Transitions anymore. It sounds easy, but it's actually more of a complicated process than you think. And 95% of the students are said to actually be done before spring break, while 5% usually finish after spring break. And some students have been able to complete it before Christmas break, which means if I mainly focus on grad transitions, then I can get through it and I can use the rest of that block to actually do other homework. Because grad transitions, it's kind of like a free block in a way. I mean, you have to at least show your name on the, uh, the attendance at least once a week and you have like three opportunities to go to grad transitions. However, since the class is so big, only half of the names from A to L have to be at grad transitions on Tuesday and letters M to Z which my last name is R Ruthven I have to be there on Thursday which should be the last class of the day whereas Friday is optional whereas Friday we have a choice to go there or not so what I'm thinking of is that on Tuesdays where I don't go I would be spending this time actually being in the library or somewhere else actually doing homework where Thursday I would be there and then uh, Friday I would actually be there as an optional yes I'll be at Grand Transitions because I have been able to start off one assignment and uh, so far I haven't done much but yeah I remember actually that was last class today and well <laughs> I remember Sean at, like made um, this one uh, girl in one cl in in our class actually like she, like he dared her to actually play the game uh, Slender Man or something like that. Slender, I forget what the game was called, but it's a horror game where you walk in the forest. Um, comment down below if you want to actually see me. Let's play the like if you want to see me do an LP of that blind. 
just to actually scare the hell out of me. <laughs> anyway, so grad transition should be interesting. And the last class, creative writing. Creative writing? This is probably going to be my most relaxed class, and also the one where I get a lot of writing cramps. But creative writing is so interesting. So far I've been learning character tips from it that make that helps me actually think of character names when I can't think of a first or last name. Basically, he told us to just think of 20 first names and 20 last names. And then just take one first name and one last name, and it was an easier process of actually thinking of the last name. One of the first names I said was Julian, and then one of the last names was Lathagy, which was one of my friend's last names. So I just put Julian Lathagy, and then character description and personality and all that. So yeah, creative writing should be interesting. And apparently, it's our choice on what kind of th story theme that, like, what kind of story theme we want to write so it can be horror sci-fi love story or whatever so yeah creative writing should be interesting and i think i'm gonna really like grade 12 because it seems to be pretty interesting and well it might be my easiest year and who knows i might actually succeed more than i did in the previous years yeah so that's pretty much my classes. Now on to actually what the heck I'm going to be doing on my Nits Gamer channel. I promise I won't make this video as long as the last one was, so hopefully that doesn't happen. So anyway, uh, what did I need to talk about? Uh, Super Mario Star Road and uh, my other Let's Plays. Um, so far, the only Let's Play that I can upload is Super Mario Star Road. Now, I, I know I haven't uploaded Part 3 during these few days. The problem is, is that I want my view count to actually be high so I know people are actually watching it. Because, uh, today, right now, um, Friday, um, it's about, uh, okay, it's 4.55 p.m. here, so let's just say it's 5 o'clock right now in Pacific Standard Time, because I'm near Vancouver. So if it was in Vancouver, say it was 5 o'clock, if it in New York or on the east side of like the US or Canada or whatever the Eastern Standard Time it would be 8 p.m. meanwhile in Australia it would be about 10 a.m. so they're kinda of just waking up whereas in London or the the England country it is heading into 1 a.m. so the problem is is that if I actually upload it you know, any time after school, the biggest problem is that I really need to focus on homework, but not only that, it's whether or not if the people from the UK are going to be viewing it, if it's like morning to them. I mean, some of the viewers on here that are watching my It's a Gamer videos, you know, they could be like um, preparing for school and stuff. I'm kind of glad to get that off. That was getting annoying. So, you know, my view count may go down because people from the UK won't be able to actually watch my videos. Whereas in the Eastern Standard Time, they might be able to, but then again, who knows when they go to bed. It can be anywhere between 8 till midnight. Sometimes they're, they're an all-night person, but yeah. I mean, that's the reason why I'm not really uploading videos is because, because my view count won't increase because people in London or in England would pretty much be asleep whereas people in New York probably won't have a chance to actually watch it because they have school tomorrow or something whereas in Australia they're kinda of just waking up but then they would actually be in school at the time and in my time it's kinda of natural because while anyone on the Pacific Standard Time is the same time as my time so yeah that's the reason why so I think most of my uploads is gonna be like Okay, most of my uploads is going to pretty much be on the weekend, so you can expect part 3 tomorrow. And, um, on other news, uh, uh, my friend Ryder, who's in the cl in my class, he's, I think he's kind of interested in actually doing a few video game Let's Plays on my channel, and he does have a video game channel himself, um, I might throw it in the description if I remember to do that, and... Yeah, he might actually do multiplayer Let's Plays with me, so hopefully that could happen because that would actually be pretty awesome to collaborate with someone that's actually in the house rather than online through Skype or something. 
I ignore the screaming downstairs. Um, and uh, what am I missing? Uh, filming wise, like Beyond Natural and the Sonic movie, we have actually recorded a few things of the Sonic movie. And speaking of that, let's just say expect a new off the console video pretty soon when I get started editing on it. And also, um, Beyond Natural, I'm having troubles getting the uh, the main antagonist actor for Pilot and Episode 2 to actually come over here. That's because he lives on the other side of the town and in next town. But I think I might be able to get Ryder to play this character. That is if Ryder is interested. That's not a promise, but I'll see. So yeah. I think that's pretty much it. I'm probably making this video longer than I should be. So this video is about... Ah, oh, crap, 50 minutes. This this camera's going to die soon because it only has 60 minutes on. So I'll see you guys later. So that's pretty much it. Uh, most of my uploads are going to happen on weekends. Okay? So don't worry, I won't be going away. So see you guys later, and keep on watching. Bye.